Toby Oluwole was laid off from his tech job in 2017, and he wants people who find themselves suddenly unemployed to know this. It's not your fault, right? Um, people in power made decisions that directly impacted you. The COVID-19 lockdowns in 2020 meant big business for big tech. The increase in remote work for many and a lot more screen time drove a boom in e-commerce spending. But those days are over. Companies are realizing that, hey, we actually want to cut our costs and take care of our shareholders. Um, and they're pretty much sacrificing the uh, employees to do that. Tech saw more job cuts than any other industry last year. Layoffs increased 650% compared with 2021. That is according to a top U.S. consulting firm. And already 2023 is seeing a steady stream of mass layoffs too. If you're part of a union, it should be your first connection after you get laid off. If you're not unionized, labor experts say don't sign anything. Keep all documents showing how long you've been employed and under what circumstances. Then get in touch with an employment lawyer who can make sure you're getting what you deserve financially. Severance offers are typically going to be low. Uh, a company is going to be banking on enough people accepting low severance offers. Um, to offset the amount that they're going to have to pay for those who actually pursue their severance packages. Oluwole's side hustle is helping people negotiate higher salaries. He says in 2022 it was a job seekers market, but the tides are turning in 2023. His advice? Go back to the drawing board and start with what fuels me? What actually made me passionate in the first place? This is a great time for career transitions. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.